it's Chrissy, finally a farm girl. Welcome to my channel about cross stitch. Today is Sunday, March 27th, and this is my floss tube number 39. I'm um, not sure everybody realized, I don't think I even realized, but I passed a milestone on floss tube about two weeks ago, and um, it was my one year floss anniversary. Um, if that's how they call it. Um, anyways, it's a combination of floss and anniversary. And I, I, um, I, I just kind of was shocked that the year had, had already gone by. So anyways, if you're new, welcome to my channel. I primarily share cross stitch, but I always mention that sometimes there's some other treats um, that are usually in some sort of fiber art. I also um, am on Instagram and at C shop now, and it is all under finally a farm girl. So if you are um, able to, and you're not confident, it's always nice for you to go check and make sure that you subscribe to my channel. And if you are new, um, of course, I would like for you to like and subscribe and share. And I love, love when I get to read your comments. So it is always something that although um, there are many, I, I read every single one of them and sometimes I just can't do it on the first day. So don't get worried. I just have to let my feed kind of go a little bit and then go back in time and um, read everybody's you know beautiful messages. So anyways, welcome. Um, I got a little sun and that was yesterday. So I wasn't gonna go covering it um, up too much. I did go for a four mile, maybe a little bit over four mile run yesterday. The weather in Florida is gorgeous. Uh, absolutely springtastic, gorgeous. And I wanna take advantage of all of that, you know, that I can. So this week, I think I'm at, uh, Philip and I, Two days in a row, Philip and I went up to our, it's called the Oaks in our community, the plantation. And we one day tried out, we walked there. So it's a mile there and a mile back. And we went there one day for breakfast. And the next day uh, we met my friend, Stitchy Linda. And she, that's her name is Stitchy Linda on Instagram. And so we met Linda and we met there for lunch. So again, we walked there and walked back. So I think I'm at a total of about nine miles this week and maybe I will get a chance to go walk again today. Um, so that's kind of my walking journey if you've um, been following that. What else did I do this week? Okay, we. Um, I'll get back to the lunch with Linda. I did movie night with my dad. We've been doing that on Wednesdays. Uh, he cooks dinner, I pick a movie and either buy it or bring it or whatever. And I bring movie night snacks. So that has been fun. Let's see, I had two releases this week, Beulah's Brew and Scarecrow Jack. And those are my designs and they are now available in my Etsy shop. Uh, let's see, I wanted to share something really cool, but my sister this weekend went, uh, she is the one that did the half marathon with me if you're new if you go back a few you will see where we did run disney and my sister has um she's you know really at that point uh in her life and her kids are grown as well as you know mine but she is able to really go do some fun adventures and this weekend uh, was so awesome because she went up to she traveled to dc and did a half marathon there and oh my gosh she sent me she's she's been sending pictures to my dad and i but she she took a picture during the actual marathon she um stopped to take a picture with abraham lincoln obviously um a look alike <laughs> so i wanted to share two pictures of her and um one is her and abe and i asked her i'm like can i please share this so anyways and i hope i hope that um, my good friend stitching with the sisterlies um, give them a follow or watch on uh, I watched them this week too and um, anyway so I'm gonna have Randy insert pictures right here of my sister and uh, Abraham Lincoln so I I, I just I, I just love that she's like I did it just for you and you know I believe it I totally believe it <laughs> because she knows me so anyways, lots of adventures. I think that um, 
both my, well, all three of us, my dad, my sister, and myself, we all kind of talked about how, man, we have been really um, doing really good. We have been on this, you know, we can call it a journey of loss, grief journey, however you want to do it. We've been doing, you know, really good. My mom passed over a year ago now, but it's still, you know, you have those moments and sometimes they catch you by surprise. So that was kind of a little bit of this week. And I think all of it, all of us were feeling it. It seemed like because we've had some really fun things, each of us going on in our lives. You know, the, the whole Etsy shop and starting to design my own patterns has just been, you know, a phenomenal blessing. And you guys are a huge part of that. Um, it's just been creatively fun and you can, I just feel the growth. I've seen the growth in my patterns and I'm, you know, thankful to you for all your support and encouragement. I am having so much fun, but I, I miss that my mom is in here and I've had good friends tell me that, you know, she's here, she's cheering me on. I know that you understand what I'm talking about. Um, my dad has really, um, if you caught it several weeks back, my dad moved, he moved into our neighborhood and he has been painting and cleaning and, you know, just so many things to, to turn this house into, oh my gosh, I, I cannot wait until he's at the finish line and I can share the before and after pictures. It's just beautiful and it's just perfect. And I know that for him, it's getting to that point where he's not as busy. And, um, you know, I think he's, yeah, I think he's feeling it. I know my mom will be so proud of what he's done. Um, it's just, it's, it's been an undertaking, but it's, it, it's been fun. And, you know, maybe I don't want to say not too much because he's really put some hard work into it. But at the same time, you know, it's been so fun to see it transform. And then my sister who, uh, she's a reader. My mom was a reader. And when she finishes a book, you know, she's like, she told my dad, it's sometimes it's hard. I know mom would like this book. I know she would really like this book. And sometimes just want to be able to read, reach out to her and say something. And you know, that, that just, you know, we talk to her, it's just, it's just different. So I think that this was one of those weeks that um, we all just kind of had a, a missing mom moment. Uh, we'll call it a MMM, I guess, I don't know. Either way, let's move on. But you can see how many blessings we've had and in, in all through the family and we remind each other and we're there for each other and that's the most important part. So anyways, um. I wanted to mention, I, I always watch several floss tubes, but I do try to mention if I've watched a new one that I've really enjoyed. And that one for me this week was the Nightly Stitcher. Uh, I would highly recommend that you go give her a watch. Um, she has a, She's just so natural. She only has two out there, but she's incredibly natural. And what a joy to watch. Uh, she's got great background. Uh, I think that the first episode one, she was in front of her prairie schoolers and it was hard to not, you know, not be staring at those the whole time. But she's um, very enjoyable to watch. So please go watch The Nightly Stitcher and, um, you know, subscribe and give her all the love. Um, and I know she's on Instagram under the same name. So... Anyways, you'll you will enjoy it, and her her projects and her fish, they're they're really good. They're really really good. So I I enjoyed that. I want to say that probably was my favorite this week, as far as floss tube goes. I I know there's still many that I need to uh, catch up on, but anyways, okay. Let's see. I keep saying anyways this week. It was, it was really a busy, stitchy week. I feel really good about everything that I accomplished and the goals that I met. There was only one goal that I did not meet, and that was I did not start uh, reproducing the red work sampler. But I made the commitment to work and finish and complete the prevent child abuse limited edition pattern, which I did. So I enjoyed 
random stitching in between and I did some finishes. So let me go ahead and let me show you the two finishes that I have for my Etsy shop that um, are my designs and went out this week. Um, first is Beulah's Brew. Now this one is stitched by my daughter, Heather, Heather Oliver, and um, this is her. So she was stitched on 32 count summer khaki. Actually, I think it's, it's 28. By looking at those, let me put my glasses on. It's in the pattern that she wrote down. No, I think it's 28. Anyways, this is Beulah. Let me hold her up here. She's uh, cooking some special brew. It's oozing over the side. She's got a little helpers to help her. I absolutely love the cat with the red beaded, beady red eyes. Um, she's got some potions in the window. Now, I went ahead and it is designed to have this filled in, but you, of course, there are always ways you can make this your own. So you can not stitch that at all. Um, and it'd be absolutely just as cute. Uh, you can change your curtain color if you want to. I went with the lavender because I knew I wanted to use this at the bottom and she has, uh, Beulah has lavender in her little, in her tights. So then all I did was I wanted to add some darkness up here and I knew with these curtains I wanted to have some um, tie backs. So all I did was took of the floss, made a real tight bow and then just glued them on. Oh, this little guy keeps going. And then on the back, I finished her with this fabric that I had. And, oh my, hold on one second, I just wanna show you this. She's, look how cute that fabric is. See that? I just, I love this fabric, oh my gosh. So, um, I'm really pleased with how Beulah Brews turned out. And, you know, of course, if you, you know, they're, like I said, you can, these are easy changes to make to this pattern. If you want Froggy to be sad, you can flip the, flip the smile upside down and give him a frown. Um, if you want the cat's eyes to be something different, you can do that too. So, I hope everybody liked. I did show her on Instagram, um, but... Anyways, this is Beulah's Brew, and thank you, Heather, for doing a fit. My daughter is an amazing stitcher. Her stitches are so nice. Uh, so let's make sure you can get her in the light. But I, I actually just, I have had so much fun with Beulah, and um, I am working on, I have two other designs, one, two, no, three. Three other designs with Beulah. I, and I have them in order of my favorites um, of how I want to release it next. But I worked on one this, this weekend. Um, I'm finding that I enjoy a little bit of designing in the morning. Um, but, you know, they're all kind of, this one, especially the next one, is really quite personal. And, and I love that. I remember one time Tanya from Scarlet House sharing um where she you know goes for walks with her dogs and sharing that that's what that depicts well that's what's coming up next with beulah is one of my uh halloween experiences with the kids and i hope you like it so it's um it'll it's going to take me stitching it i think what's happening is i have so many ideas and not enough ability to get them stitched so that's okay what i really wanted to do is get about 10 patterns in the shop and then maybe I could um, not slow down, but I just, I felt like I didn't want just two patterns sitting there. So I gave it a really good push. And now I can um, go back to some of my, my whips that I have. So anyways, this is Miss Beulah Brews. And um, I hope you love her, cause I, I do. And again, this, this witchy fabric is, I've got enough to, my hopes would be to continue finishing them in the same way, uh, almost with that on the back. So that is her and um, let me put her over here. Okay, and then the next one, when I met with Linda, uh, Stitchy Linda for lunch, she was giving me Scarecrow Jack. Linda stitches 
fall, but not Halloween. And when she saw the design of Scarecrow Jack, she's like, oh, I could stitch that one. So I um, made her a, a cute little deal that if, if she could stitch him because she lives locally, um, she, she could just have him back and I could get him from her, finish it, get the pattern, you know, produced. And then she's always at the brick, my local needle shop, uh, Brick City Cross Stitch. And so it will end up being on display there anyways. My patterns are there um, for purchase and hard copy. So this works out really well. Um, she was able to stitch it. And so we met for lunch and she brought me the finished version of Scarecrow Jack. And then, oops, I got a little, I got a thread. So this is Scarecrow Jack and um, I love him to death. So I love a good scarecrow. I really, really do. Every, Randy and I have been scarecrows for Halloween. Um, I, we did a scarecrow on the, on the farm and that is where this comes from. So I have a picture that maybe I could get Randy to put at the end. And if not, I've already shared it on, on Instagram. You can check it out. But this design comes from one of the years uh, for how we decorated fall on the farm. So we had our, we have our chicken coop and we had uh, the, like a pumpkin patch sign that we put crooked and on the, on the fence where we had a pig. Anyways, but we took and we took wood and we created our own scarecrow by our chicken coop. And I stuffed it with hay down in there, like some older hay that I, I had gathered. Um, and so we stuffed it. Well, unfortunately, the goats decided they would jump the fence and attack the scarecrow and eat all the... You want to come say hi? Okay. Go ahead. <laughs> you say hi? Say hi, floss dude. So usually they go for a drive, but it wasn't the best kind of morning for that. You gonna go play? Oh, thank you very much. Y'all yeah, use these. I used to, but not anymore. Thank you. <laughs> Bye, guys. Okay, so anyways, and uh, unfortunately, they pretty much dismantled our scarecrow. Um, he hung on there as long as he could, but they just annihilated him trying to get to the hay. Um, but let me get him a little closer for you. So he is primarily in DMC, but there is about three colors that are your um, dyed floss. The red coop, cherry cobbler, I think this was kudzu, and this is whiskey for the hat. And she did, Linda does, Linda does beautiful stitching. Uh, you've got your little mouse down here coming up behind the pumpkin. And one of my favorite chickens, her name was Laverne. She was a buff Orpington. And I just wanted to represent, you know, that they would always crowd in there. It didn't matter. You could give them as many. We had three nesting boxes, so I put three in here. But I, I assure you that most of the time, two of them had to crowd into one. Um, but anyway, so this is Scarecrow Jack. And I have a feeling I would like to stitch him... I would like to stitch a small pillow and possibly just use his head or maybe some pieces and stick around and have a small pillow that you could put down here. Now that one I would stitch myself so that then I have something for my bowl in fall. But anyways, I like him and she did a great job. So thank you, Miss Linda for, for Scarecrow Jack. Um, so those two, those two were the two releases that came out this week. And those will be the giveaways. Um, those will be the gi two giveaways that I have for this week for you. So I'll put my two patterns in, which is Scarecrow Jack and Beulah's Brew. And let's just use the word Jack. Um, my dad, my dad named him. Um, I just thought it was cute. So Scarecrow Jack worked really, really good for me. But there's your pattern. And so the, let's just use the keyword as use Jack. Um, I don't care if you just put Jack, if you wanna put it in a sentence, great. I love your stories like that. Maybe you know a Jack. 
either way. So um, those will be the giveaway for this week. Make sure that you're 18 or over. Make sure that you avoid all those nasty words like giveaway, freebie, draw, anything anything like that that um, brings attention to non to non-stitchers. The winner for last week, while we're going ahead and doing this, the winner for last week was Cindy Flinchbaugh. And Cindy Flinchbaugh won my pattern Abe's Parade. And the word was eagle, if you recall. So congratulations, Cindy. You won the pattern and all you need to do is get in touch with me by emailing me uh, you can direct message me on Instagram, whatever works best for you. The email will be, I always link it below, but it's finallyafarmgirl at gmail.com. So congratulations. Uh, that's really fun. Okay. Let me go on to my whips uh, as far as what I worked on but didn't finish. Um, the 25th day stitching was this week, so I, I wanted to participate in the hashtag 20, 25th day stitching sal. That's the one that Lori Holt and uh, Christy from Crosshatch Quilts put on. And so you can just, they have their own project they're doing. I just make sure I'm stitching on Christmas, um, anything I want, whatever I'm in the mood for. And this week I was in the mood for Glendon Place. This is Gingerbread Grove. I am not using the Krynik and I'm really probably not inclined to use the beads. Anytime it calls for that, I'm just finding, um, of, of, I'm just following the color scheme and just using the floss for it. So these are your, all the DMCs that are called for. There's a really nice chunk in there. Um, all really happy colors. It is stitched on 28 count Frost Lugana from V Stitch Me. And I will say it is probably the softest fabric I've ever stitched on. This is a Lugana. And let me show you where I'm at. There we go. So this 25th day, I worked on this one at night. I worked on something else during the day and I'll show you that but I'm over here on the middle gingerbread house, which is the biggest one. Um, so let me get it in there for you a little bit better. And I still have stuff to do over here. There's um, gum, like kind of like a gumdrop or lollipops. There's another reindeer down there, but I like to get my, um, I like to get where I can just keep spreading out. So then if I, if I only have time for a reindeer, I can just go down, do it easy. But I like to keep spreading as far as I can go so I can just move around. <clears throat> so I guess it's, it's kind of like when you do landmark stitching with samplers, I like to get as many landmarks in as I can and just keep traveling so that whatever mood strikes me, um, that's what I can work on, so. It's, um, it's a very, very happy stitch. I've got my little floss tag from Chris from As the Yo Flies. The hashtag, this is one that I am doing as a sal with Becca from Sambri Stitches, who now has her own designs as well. Um, I know she's in Etsy and Gumdrop, and she's done some uh, one sampler for her cat, but this is the one we're doing right here is the O oh Snap Sal. O oh Snap Sal. So it's not too late to join. This was a pattern that you could get from Carla at Cobweb Corner. And um, anyways, you're still welcome to join and there's, there's plenty of time to have this still done before Christmas. And um, I would highly recommend Be Stitch Me Fabrics as far as this is really, really soft. Uh, I'm, I'm using the Lugana. I've, I've not tried too many, but I know, I know Becca has used her fabrics quite a bit. Um, but I can at least attest to this, this Lugana and it is so soft. So it, it makes stitching enjoyable. And let's see here. Gingerbread Grove is housed in Just Crossing Stitches bag, which is really cute. So I was glad to get some stitches in that because I would like to really I know it'll take me all the way till Christmas. I, I know it will. There's quite a bit of detail um, 
there's some good chunks so it's not it's not a terrible amount of it's not like confetti stitching but it's it's a it's a good size piece um okay what else did i work on well during the day on the 25th day stitching sal i was um I had designed, I think I've talked before about cross stitch patterns for Mrs. Claus. I love Christmas stitching. I love Christmas. Uh, but I have a hard time finding Mrs. Claus patterns that I like. I do like the stitching with the Housewives Mrs. Claus. Uh, I do like the, um, like I'm working on Greetings from the North Pole and I like Country Cottage New York. It's not that they're not out there, but sometimes they're really small. Um, and of course I love Twin Peak Primitives stitching on their Mrs. Claus when, when she does her uh, the yearly at home with Santa series. Oh my gosh, yes, love, love hers. They are my favorite. But I, I designed my own and this is where I'm at right now. So I thought I could at least share a little bit of what I've got going on. So you're gonna have Mrs. Claus and she's got her friends and um, so it'll just be a nice pillow size or ornament size. Let me see if I can get her in there. She's got cute little hearts and her rosy cheeks. Um, and it'll stop right here. So he's just kind of coming in to see what's going on. And I'm excited to get all the detail going on in here. Um, but, and, and over here is something, a cute little sweet treat. So I, uh, I, kind of, I hope that you, I hope that you like her and might, might stitch her. Um, so anyways, I have something I'm going to put up here. And other than that, I think she'll just be a really nice piece, but not too small. Um, something where I can get some detail in her and I'm really liking how she's, how she's turning out. And right now it's just all DMC, all DMC. So that is my Mrs. Claus. And that was what I worked on during the day. Um, it's nice. This one is, uh, I think I'm on, this is 32 count as well and and I probably summer khaki but I won't show you the pattern cover because there is none yet but if I if I could she would be my um one release next week I last week was two I don't need two every week by any means so she's so fun to stitch she's red which I love so if I could she would be my one that I would I would enjoy finishing her let alone enjoy um getting her in the Etsy shop as well Okay, the next one I worked on, I worked on it at uh, one day at home, and I think I was brain dead from something. I just absolutely was not in the mood for anything hard, and I have not worked on this in a while, and it's flea market basket sale. And this is by the Fat Quarter Shop. The design was by Lori Holt. And the pattern was produced by It's So Emma. And I got way behind my original idea. I think I told you was every morning I was going to do one of these with coffee. Yeah, that never happened. Did not happen. So, and I'm okay with that because it's no big deal. Um, but I was able to do a couple more of these. I've got my corner turned and I've started to get my little gingham boxes in. And I wasn't, I was thinking about not, not stitching that. And I was gonna just outline these, but I actually really enjoy having a piece that I can just sit down and do a, do these squares, do something that's just enjoyable um, and peaceful. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and it, it's obviously, I doubt it'll get done this year, but I, I think it's, um, one worth just absolutely taking my time with. So I love the colors. Uh, I've mentioned before that what I do is I just, because I have more than one Lori Holt project that I wanna do, I just add them all into my Lori colors. And so these are more than what's in that, but it just works out good because I know, um, I know that when I get a project more than likely, they're gonna be on here. So I uh, also have her Christmas ones in here too because I did, I think I did her Santa. Yeah, I did her Santa. So I just kind of keep everything together in my Lori Holt dot dot goose bag. And um, so it was nice. It was nice to, to pull that, it was nice to pull that one out. And I'm just, on that one, I'm just working on Ivory Lugana. Something easy because the background was really light and um, I still got the, 
I got that linen up at, let me just make sure what it is. 28 count, yeah, 28 count Ivory Lugana. I had gotten that up at Brick City and it's, it's, it's a nice piece. I'll probably use this as my travel piece to go to my dad's now. Um, last week I took my special project and I can show you that right now. Okay, so the other one that I did stitch and fully finish because the other two fully finishes, they were stitched by somebody else. This one, I discussed last week an idea that my sister and I had, and I absolutely want to support her, but if I could give just two seconds about what it is, then I'll show you the piece. But basically, April is Prevent Child Abuse Month. It is the month of pinwheels. I've also noticed that there are some, uh, it's also, there are, there seem to be in my research of pinwheels and colors, these, the pinwheel seems to represent many causes. So, but the one that my sister, um, when you've met her, you know that her job is executive director of Prevent Child Abuse Georgia. That is a big chapter of the Prevent Child Abuse America. Um, I will share links so that if you wanna learn more, you know, you can. Um, her, her idea and my idea was to create a pattern that I would create it, release it, and for the entire month of April, um, whoever buys it, I will tally that up and then make the, a donation in honor, you know, on behalf of Prevent Child Abuse, and it would go to her chapter. Okay, so the idea in my mind was I wanted to make something that you could modify because if you support it and you and you buy it, you know, we're all different stitchers. You might have something in you know, in mind and, and don't want to use the wording that I used. So what I did was I created a piece that I hope that will inspire you to buy it, which then I can donate it um, because I will give all the proceeds to um, Prevent Child Abuse Georgia. And it would be a limited edition. So I will put it in my shop for exactly all the month of April and then pull it down. She will have, I will gift her the pillow for her office and then I will make one each year. So I made sure to date it. So let me share with you the very first Prevent Child Abuse 2022 limited edition pattern. So what I did was the focus for them is the pinwheel. So, and the colors, the color for for Prevent Child Abuse are, is like a royal blue and then it has a little bit of a lighter blue, uh, almost like an aqua. So what I wanted to, to convey was that I, I kept it whimsical in the sense that maybe you want to support it, but maybe you have um, a baby shower to go to. Maybe you have a grandchild. So each of the, each of the characters has their own little pinwheel. And let me share with you the characters. We have a white bunny, we have a gray bunny, and we have a puppy dog, and of course, Mr. Bear. Now, Mr. Bear, and, and of course, there's gonna be a mouse because it's finally a farm girl, right? Um, so he's holding his, and what I did was, you'll notice when you're stitching the bear, which I, I kept everything DMC to make it so it was completely workable for anybody. And, but, I would say if anybody was, you know, uh, had dyed floss on hand, oh my gosh, there's so many browns that would make a gorgeous bear, a gorgeous bear. So what I did was I have his head turning a little and I left a space here so that you could either put a pin or a bow or whatever you wanna, wanna add, but I wanted something, I did not, obviously I did not want a collar on him, but I wanted, I wanted something to be there that was special for him. And I've got the date over here. Now, you could change the date. Maybe it's a baby's birthday. Maybe it's a child's birthday. May, you know, whatever. You can put the year in or you can remove it. It's over to the side. It's not going to make much of a difference without it. The, the saying that my sister gave me, there was a few of them that Prevent Child Abuse uses. And one of them was, I need to be able to fit it, was Every Child Matters, which, you know, 
every child absolutely matters and every child should have the opportunity to live in a safe environment and one where they are provided for and loved. So those are the words that I chose. If they are not words of your choice, please feel free to remove them. You can take them all off and you can make it whatever you need it to be. You can also, I know that epilepsy is represented by a purple um, pinwheel. Jeez, I lost, I lost it for a second. I've been talking about pinwheels for a week. Epilepsy, which is what my son has, um, is represented by purple and the purple ribbon and the purple pinwheel. So I, this is basically two colors, three colors, but there's a dark, a medium, and a light. You can, you can change it to whatever you want. If you wanted to do this in honor of somebody who had breast cancer, you can change it to pinks. So I tried to keep this as universal as possible. I found, this is my back, I'm not, I'm not finished here because I want my sister to put something personal. I know they have pinwheel pins. So I've left this, this is where my seam is, and I will send her some of those little um, pins. But I found this pinwheel fabric on Etsy. Let me see here one second so you can see it. I thought it was perfect because it's not boy, it's not girl, um, it's country, but yet it could go so easy in a nursery. It could go in a spring basket. Um, so I really, I really tried to work hard on keeping it neutral, but yet not really. It has a purpose. It has a very special purpose. And I'm, I'm all about trying to, um, you know, support something like this and as serious as it is and as important as it is. So we have a lot of that in the world right now. And if this is a way I can give back, then I absolutely want to. So anyways, the fabric came from, let me look right here, just in case you are interested and wanted the same fabric. I bought that off Etsy from Stitchin' Sister Fabric. Uh, let's see if it'll get in there. Stitchin' Sister Fabric. And it came, it came really fast. Um, I stitched this on 28 counts. So if you did 32, it would be adorable. Um, now the pattern is not out now and it won't be out until April 1st. So I will put a post on Instagram um, and, and on my YouTube channel. I'll put like a little announcement out there that it is in the shop. And then I will tally it through the month of, you know, to the month of April. And then hopefully I can share that with you. I would really like to. Uh, I'd like to be able to at least keep you informed as to what we were able to get up to prevent child abuse, um, Georgia. So anyways, this is it. And I hope you like them. So cute. Anyways, so that was, that was, that was a big, to be really honest, since it's 28 count and I just use a very light cream. You, um, obviously there's just so many things you can do. You can change colors of your bunny, chunnies of colors of your dog personalize it don't personalize it but it was it was it was a between other stitching and that and another finishing whew, I think it was midnight last night that I finished stitching on it and and got everything sewn kind of the way that I wanted it and left myself just a little bit of work to do this morning I I really like finishing these pillows I really like finishing um like this, I, I, I use, I'm trying to, I watched me by Michelle McGraw and she, she shared, I think it was last year, how she does a lot of her finishing by hand. And yes, she's got the sewing machine, but I got to admit, I love the fact that I do not have to get up from my chair and I can just, I use just as if we were counting over two. I find where my spot's going to be and I just do my back stitch and it is sturdy as all heck. Um, so I, it's just another, it's just like designing, it's like stitching, it's like color conversion, it's all related and I love every element of it. And this is just, I never was, I did not do my own finishing before. Um, I've done some of my own framing, but it has really been fun. It, it really, and I love these pillows and I'm not sure where this, this whole designing journey will take me, but I like the fact that pillows are easy to move. They're easy to display and we'll just see. So anyways, all right, let's talk about Paul. All right, 
I did get one other fabric because I was not, I, one, it doesn't matter, I fell in love with it. I know I wanna do a smaller version of Scarecrow Jack. So um, Scarecrow Jack fit perfectly. That was an eight by 10 frame. You could go custom and go a little bit tighter, but that worked perfectly for me to just buy a black barnwood eight by 10 frame and it fit in. Um, so I could just have it framed right then and there at Hobby Lobby. But I also found this fabric here that I fell in love with on Etsy and I will use this to back my pillows. I don't always find fall, fall fabric that I like and in a small enough shape that it will look good on the back of a pillow. So I still like it because it's got that black background. I like that little bunny coming out of there. I mean, it's just to me, all these little animals, look at how perfect, right? So I, I did pick up this at the same time as I grabbed the pinwheel fabric. Um, so I love that. So that was one. And I have to admit, doing some of the designing, I'm, I'm doing less buying and, and more designing. And I think that makes my husband happy, I think. But um, <laughs> I did grab two. Two that came out this week. First of all, Witchy Stitcher knocked it out of the park with Legacy of Sleepy Hollow. Now, I've always wanted to stitch something for this, but I didn't want it to be super huge and I fell in love with her design of this. So that was that was a, a, an immediate cha-ching. So this is, let me see if I can get it in there, good for you. She's got it in that oval frame, it's awesome. And I, you know what I'm drawn to is I, I love that she has the date in there, 1820. I love that. So, not not too many different colors, so I think I think it'll be really enjoyable. And I I don't think I think it's I didn't read what it was on, but it looks like country vintage mocha. Here's another uh, pattern or another picture of it. So cool, so cool. It says, "You must believe in me." It was a horseman, a dead one, a headless one, by Ichabod Crane. So anyways, I think she did really good and I needed that really quickly. And I knew my daughter Heather would love it too. Um, so we both were like, <gasps> and it came home really fast. Okay, so that's Halloween. And then I'm not quite sure how I came, how I came across this. I know it was on Instagram and I know that, um, I just, I wish I could remember who had shared it and by, by accident, I went ahead and I, I liked the name Quaint Rose Needle Arts. And I'm like, oh. So I was trying to find out if she was designing it or if she was stitching it. And either way, I came across, an ad, it's an adaptation of a re reproduction sampler. And I fell in love because, you know, with, with Easter coming, it is nice to be able to stitch something else, but I don't often find something that represents exactly Easter, non from a biblical standpoint. And I have always, obviously it is finished, is those three words are um, incredibly important. And the fact that she pulled, I believe she pulled half of this from, um, she, she created down here, this part here, she designed that herself. The upper portion is from the reproduction. And I just, I think she did a beautiful job. And I love that it's, you know me in red and red work. So how fun is that gonna be? And so that is by Quaint Rose Needle Arts. Um, she, it's, it's called, okay, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna have a hard time with this. Tetalaste, Tetalaste. Um, but that is the name of the pattern. T-E-T-E-L-E-S-T-A-I. Tetelastia, I'm not sure. But a designer that um, I didn't know about. I will say the pattern is really clear. Um, so let me just see. 
I wasn't sure. It's, it's, it says the stitch count is 119 by 168, and it was stitched on 45 count pox, foxtail millet by Legacy Linen using a Verisois 103, uh, number 664. So anyway, she shares this. And um, I just, I just think it's really special that it, obviously I wouldn't put it, I wouldn't put it away, um, but I really felt, I really felt called to do this, and I think it's quite beautiful. And of course, they are one of the three most popular words in the Bible. So, um, anyways, I think it's, I think it's fabulous, and maybe. If it's not this pattern, maybe go ahead and check her out. Like I said, I wish I could recall who I came across and then I kind of just went down a rabbit, rabbit hole and quaint rose needle arts and it was a download. So very, very easy. The other one I got was when Linda and I met uh, sometimes she'll see a pattern and she'll just get two and I do the same thing, you know, for her. So she dropped off where we had both wanted to get another one from UB Designs. And this was what I got, sorry about the glare. And we are getting ready on her birthday in April to do her birthday start, which is a UB Design pattern, this UB Design. And it's got snowman and Santa and they got these skinny, cute little legs and I just can't wait to, to start that one. So we added this one. And then we also picked up uh, Mary Mary, the pin keep from Station Stacy Nash Primitives. So this is, again, I, I love that it's got a little sampler going on. It's got a red house and it's right up my alley. So I'm not sure when I'll, I'll get a start on that. I have a lot that I'd like to, to finish. Um, I'm kind of glad I'm in this good place with models and uh, Etsy shop at least having more than two patterns in it. So I feel I feel really good about that And I think now it's um, I've got my model stitch for Twin Peak primitives. I did work on that I just can't share it. So I'm keeping balanced and I'm still making sure I get out to You know run and I feel like it's important to give back. I feel like That this was a good week for that and I'm excited to see what April brings as far as for um you know, uh, the, the name of the pattern is PCA 2022, uh, Prevent Child Abuse. And I, I grabbed this shirt. I thought that I couldn't believe it when I saw it with the bear. Um, so I had to get myself a shirt and just, you know, anyways. It's some, I think what she does, I, I just, I don't think my sister sometimes realizes how much I, um, you know, I'm just so proud of her. I, I am in proud. I am so incredibly proud, and I know my mom and my dad you know, are too. That she does work um, that is absolutely, you know, you, she's putting her heart and soul into children, heart and soul into families, um, and I just I've watched her work so hard at this and. I'm just so proud, and so there aren't enough words. Um, and I know that, you know, mom is absolutely just watching her run through DC and just take care of herself, and we're both trying hard with that, and I think that this is kind of what this year is is turning into for, for us, um, is just really making sure that we are trying to do better at taking care of ourselves. I'm not perfect by any means. Uh, I have had way more chocolate this week, or licorice, um, gumdrops at my dad's. I, I have treated myself, but I'm still making strides. I'm still trying. And I think that's the most important part. So um, anyways, I think we can, we can change the world if we, you know, if we try one step at a time um, and uh, I just think we can all you know be the light when we can and if this is one small way to be the light in a child's life then that's exactly what I wanted what I wanted to do and what I wanted to accomplish but I also wanted y'all to be able to um, change it 
if you wanted to. Change it to fit what your family has experienced. I cannot tell you how many people have shared with me who's knowing I was doing this, who they were gonna stitch it in honor of. Some of them, it's their own child. Um, some of them, it's their grown adult child with special needs and just, they're, they can do what they wanna do with it. Um, the other one is the Red Work Sampler. I'm, I am flabbergasted at how many of you are waiting for a Mother's Day sale. No pressure. Um, so I'm gonna, uh, that is my biggest, my most important goal this week is to get over the fear of trying to reproduce a sampler. It's a real deal. Um, pull it out and I don't wanna work on it during the day. I don't wanna do that during the day because I'm gonna have to have that original out by me and I want it to be calm and quiet at night. So my goal is, is um, not tonight, usually after floss tube, I try to just have a nice night and stitch on whatever I want. All my goals done, um, showing you my model. So usually Sunday night's my night. Um, and I don't know what I wanna stitch on tonight. So we'll see. Um, and then I, you know, like I said, my plans would be to finish up my Mrs. Claus. She, I will hope that she can be released on the first, which I believe is Friday. I will go ahead and the pattern will be, probably I will have it go out, um, put it out there Thursday night at, at midnight or something or before we go to bed so that it's there. And then I will do a reminder Friday morning and actually post um, the pillow and, and all of that as, as a reminder Friday morning that it's available in the shop. Um, I don't know what Philip and I are gonna do this week, but I do know today we are going to grill on the patio. It's so nice. And um, uh, I don't know, the weather's beautiful. So I'm gonna just enjoy myself and maybe I will get to go for a walk. And if not, I'm happy that I went yesterday. I think that's it. I hope you guys have a wonderful week. Ooh, I'm going to Sunday stitching next Sunday. I wanted to say that I'm gonna go up to uh, my local needle workshop, uh, Brick City in Ocala, and that is my next Sunday, even though I will still come home and do a floss tube, but I will pick up, um, I believe I'll be picking up my models, but I do know I'm leaving my patterns there. So if perchance you are not uh, great at, you know, there, I mean, I'm not, I'm not technically great, I'm not technically challenged, but at the same time, if you prefer a hard copy, and, and um, you're always welcome to call Brick City Cross Stitch, the link is always down below. And Miss Jean, her, I have hard copies of my patterns at her shop. Uh, she does not have my two newest ones, but I will be taking them up next Sunday. So anyways, but yes, I, I get to go do that next Sunday. So my floss tube might be a little bit, a little bit later. And other than that, I, um, you know, I, I cannot thank you enough for staying with me for watching my floss tubes for a year, for helping me break through into a designing world. Please remember to um, support Becca of Sambri Stitches as well. She has a beautiful little uh, cat sampler that she's done and some exciting news. So I did watch her floss tube as well. She's got some very exciting news going on with acorns and threads. It's secret, top secret, but she shares enough that, um, you know, it, I mean, I'm so excited for her. And this, this community is, we say it every time, but it's hard not to say it. We say it every single time that Stitchy Friends are best. Stitchy Friends lift us up. And, um, you know, it's just like with anything else in any other world. If there is somebody that we don't, um, we don't have to like everything everybody stitches. You know, we just have to be nice to everybody. So I have learned that of all the things in my life, I don't always, I'm not drawn to everything everybody stitches, but I love seeing their stitches. I am not a huge mirabilia person, but boy, when I watch Lisa Kindred Stitcher share her mirabilias, uh, oh my gosh, it, they are stunning. So we just, it's all about respecting the stitch, that's it, and their personal journey. So anyways, um, okay guys, you guys have a great week. Thank you so much. Happy stitching. Don't forget to floss. And um, as always, be blessed. Love you. And I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.